Good evening, everyone. Tommy Jordan here from Twisted Networks. Going to cover an issue that Microsoft has finally chosen to address a little bit, still not to my liking, but they have made improvements uh, in, in regards to Windows 10, specifically applying updates. If you've been uh, using your computer and for some reason had to restart in the middle of the day for some reason, there's a good chance that when your machine came back up, you were stuck in this cycle where it says, well, please wait while we apply up updates. And if it was like the anniversary update, it may have tied your computer up for a couple hours and um, it just kind of screws up your whole day. Um, you can't do anything about it. You got to sit there and just wait for it to get done. That's kind of annoying. And um, so they have responded to users' requests a little bit, and they've made a few changes. If you have the Windows 10 anniversary update, um, you will have a new option. So just click on your start menu or start typing in your Cortana, Cortana Anabar there and just type in update and you'll see a thing here that says Windows Update Settings. You want to click that. It's going to take you straight to your settings page. There's currently no updates. That's fine. Here's a new feature. It's called Active Hours. Um, this, is, and this is, again, not, not great, but it's an improvement. So click on Change Active Hours. And that's going to allow you to choose or tell Microsoft, this is the time of day I use my computer the most. So please don't restart my computer automatically during this time frame because I'm busy. Um, the thing I learned, for example, I'd like mine to be from around 8 a.m. to let's say 3 o'clock in the morning because, yes, I'm actually up working that late often. I try and set 3 a.m. It tells me active hours can only be between 1 to 12 hours. I'm assuming that means 12 hours long because um, if I try and choose, for example, 11 p.m., I get the same warning. So I, I can tell them, look, don't mess with my machine between 8 to 5 or let's say 8 to 8 at night. That warning goes away and press save. So now any updates that I get won't necessarily cause me to restart in the middle of my work day. Well, they do in the middle of the day I work, but probably not your work day. Um, so you've changed active hours. That's great. You can click on restart options next. If you have a restart scheduled, and you'll know you'll normally be prompted if you do. You can come here under this and say, "Look, I'm really doing something important, and and set this time. I don't currently have a restart scheduled, so I can't turn it on right now. But if I did, I could and say, I don't care what you're thinking about. Don't restart my computer until this time tomorrow. Um, so there's an option. You can go under Advanced Options, um, Defer Feature Updates. This one's kind of neat. If you click on Learn More, it'll just open a browser and take you to a Microsoft page that basically tells you what I'm going to tell you, that you can choose to defer certain updates for a few months. Um, that means you won't always get the newest updates to Windows 10, which, as much as I hate to say it, may be a blessing in disguise, because lately they've updated or they've released some updates that have caused more problems than they've solved. So, uh, like the boot loop that the, the anniversary update caused, where people's computers just kept rebooting and rebooting and rebooting repeatedly and uh, had to have a computer technician repair it or roll it back. And it's, it's, it, it was a fairly complicated pain in the rear. So, you can choose to defer feature, uh, defer feature updates. I like that myself because um, I want this for my clients because then I can choose to come in here and push the updates myself earlier or... After a few months, they'll get pushed once all the bugs are forked out. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn as to if I like it or not. Now, for my personal machine, I don't have it turned on, so I, I'm going to keep it off. You can also, if you're on a work network or a home network, choose how updates are delivered. It, um, this is especially important if you're on a, a very slow connection. You can choose to get your updates more than one place. So if you have three Windows 10 PCs at home, and this PC updates itself, you turn this on, you select this box right here. If my computer already has downloaded the Windows update and we're on the same network and on the same work group, and my wife's computer turns on, even without using my internet connection, she can get the update pushed from my computer to hers, which is pretty cool. Uh, it saves bandwidth. I don't personally care. I have a ton of bandwidth. It, I don't have to pay for it. But some people that are on slower connections or people using things like hotspots, MiFi's, that kind of thing, they might want that. Um, I can just choose to leave mine for PCs on my local network and PCs on the Internet. So this is like BitTorrent, which means I can get major updates pushed to me faster. So I choose to leave that one turned on. Go back and um, that that's pretty much it. So go back under Advanced. 
Yep. So we covered how to change your active hours so it won't restart during certain times of day, how to choose your, your restart options when you have one pending, and how to choose how you get your updates. Unfortunately, Microsoft has still not seen fit to make it so we can disable updating automatically, but we're hoping that's going to come. No telling. So that's it for me. You guys have a great day.